Okay. So, today's episode 7 of the Road to Pro series. Um, currently two weeks into my diet right now. And I went from, what, 200... Or actually, no, 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 I went to Davis and I lost weight. So I was at like 197. I dropped down to 185 on um, Saturday when I had a check-in. And then I had a refeed Saturday, the whole day Saturday. Sunday was an off day. Refeed today again. And currently I'm sitting at 190. So it's pretty pretty good. Leaned out a little bit. We're getting there. Um, today, it's a very exciting day for me. Today, I'm looking at a car. And if you, I, don't, I don't really share this or really talk about this yet, but I'm very big into cars. I, I used to watch like a bunch of TJ Hunt. I really, I like to have BRZs. I had like a whole mod list of what I wanted to do. I had a BRZ I liked. 370Z, a Nismo, uh, I went to like a Beamer for a little bit, and then like some Ford, or GT, like so much stuff, but um, basically, I'm about to go get a car, test drive a Mercedes, I'll show you what a car that is soon, but yeah, I'm very excited to say the least for this. Corona season out right now, so we've got a mask on, at a dealership at Mercedes, Benz, and car I'm looking at and the test road or anything like that basically is this car it's a Mercedes C300 coupe and as I said I've been like searching for cars for a good time really fell in love with this car it's pretty nice and it's real nice so um yeah it should be in my possession either when the time this video is out or like a couple days but yeah her name is Brittany Welcome to fucking family. All right, so this is now the day after you saw that footage of the whole car scene. Now I'm about to go do fast and cardio. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram, but my show did get postponed to November, which is very unfortunate. Coach called me up, told me the news. Um, basically, we're still prepping for a show. I don't know if it's gonna be USA's, but that's in Vegas. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what's up. But definitely, we're still um, gonna prep. What the whole thing is now is we're just gonna get myself still to a pretty not low low body fat but like still lean and we're gonna grow at that that stage and keep myself in that stage where i can easily drop down get ready for a show so i still have to do cardio but hey i mean like it's summertime and i'm gonna be shredded so it should be pretty optimal i mean i'm not complaining the diet's okay but yeah time to go do fasted cardio Cardio is done for today. Ah, all right, so breakfast is made. I have 10 ounces of egg whites, which if you guys remember, in like my one week out video, I hate drinking egg whites. They're not that bad, it's just they're egg whites, so they're not enjoyable. And then I have my other food over here, which I was supposed to have 40 grams of oatmeal and three whole eggs, but I don't have eggs and my oatmeal spilled, like overflow, overflow, overflowed in the microwave. So, um, did some calculations, half the English muffin makes up for what spilled out because I lost half my oatmeal. So, I put the avocado on it, which was 3.5 ounces. So, I have basically identical macros to what my breakfast would be. You just gotta use some intelligence and find out, you know, what the macros would be, whatever you lost or what you could substitute. So, I'm about to eat this breakfast and then probably eat again and go train. And also right now, I'm about to do a call to like a follower, fan, whatever. I do like the calls for like a Gymshark launch and like Gorilla Mind, I choose like once a week. So I'm about to call someone and I'll show a bit of that. So I just finished up a video chat with a guy. Um, his phone ended up dying and he's like outside. So yeah, I'll call him back later on when he charges up his phone, but just to show. His connection was poor sometimes, so I had to end it. So I think we did like three calls. I don't know if it shows the time length. But there's like, there's a couple calls in here at the bottom. But yeah, that's probably like a 30 minute call. His phone ended up dying. So I'll probably call him later on when he charges it up. But yeah, I think I'm about to go clean these dishes and then relax for a little bit. So it is currently 10.30 at night. Took like a long nap. We're about to take some gorilla mode and have a good push day nostalgia workout with Sir David. Well, what do we have here? What's Nothing. There? Nothing? Nothing. I don't have anything there. Open. Oh. What is that? For the first time in, I'd say months now, um, I want to take a little bit 1-3, a little bit of oven 1-3, and 
Now my sleep schedule has been a complete anarchy to say the least, even mm. though it's grammatically incorrect. And the reason I'm taking this pill is because of that, because I was grammatically incorrect. You know, my sleep schedule is all over the place. I just, I just need something to, you know, like, just kind of like, you know, put me there. You know, I just want to be just feeling good. So take a little bit of one, three. Now, what I'm not going to do is just put this entire capsule in my mouth and swallow it. We wouldn't want to do that because why not? The contents in this capsule is what I want. This capsule right here, it's the gelatin. sheer red 40 gel <coughs> oh, the red. coloring, it's not good for you, which is the reason I took it out of my euphoria pre-workout because I don't want to cause cancer at a mass large scale, nor do I want to give myself cancer. So I'll not be consuming the red 40. I'm going to honestly take the entire bitterness of 1-3. Do you know how to open a capsule correctly? It's delicious, though. No? Can you get that little piece that fell? Please? That one? Wow. How gross was that? I remember they say 1-3 is bitter, but I had oh. no idea. Thank you. I took, I, took, I took three Gorilla Mind Rush plug. And then I took two Gorilla Mode scoops, so that's plenty. Yeah. So. So tomorrow, by the day this video is uploaded, there should be a gym. Hey. Hi. Your one inch sensor and dirty lens are giving me fucking guacoma and guacamole. Yo, you got a stabilizer in here, right? right? Pay a lot of money for it. You time is just a meat, meat drop music.
unfortunately sort of got broke as I talked in my last video. It's a big like little dent right there. Here, if you look in here very closely, you can see battery's supposed to just like pop right out. Doesn't happen, tweezers won't work. So I'm gonna do operation on this thing, hot glue gun, sort of let it stick, pull it out. So David's recording me, thank you. Um, I wanted to show one thing. My last video I mentioned, I got some things rock bottom. Everyone's like, oh, what's in the bag, what's in the bag? Like, he didn't show what's in the bag. So I'm gonna show what's in that bag right now. So this is the bag, which I think the receipt's still in here. Yeah. Sales receipt. So, right here. Citrus bergamot and then ashwagandha. I don't even, what does ashwagandha do, David, right? Like before we go to bed? Anthony, that's not what you got at rock bottom, buddy. Well, I think you can see this is literally full. I took this a couple days. It's an adaptogen. It helps you recover better. Think about it. It's kind of like tribulus. Okay, well, and then this was not even opened yet. So, and this is like, what, glucose, something help, or like insulin, I don't know, forget. But it's in my plan, so. Jeff, we need assistance. Yeah, help me out. We need, we, we need some expertise here, pal. What is it? You're not in the bag, are you? He got, he, he got this fake bag to kind of like, for, for like a video, so. Oh, okay. He just right, needs to. Like, I forget, but if, if you. You know what that means? That means it's fraudulent.